Well, for more on that, we're joined by Camelia Entekabifar, the editor-in-chief at The Independent Persian. Good to see you, Camelia. Thank you for being with us. So um, what do you think then? Do you think that the United States never really intended to remove the Revolutionary Guards from the list of terrorist groups? Thank you very much, dear Laura, for hosting me. Uh, I believe that uh, President Biden's decision reversed based on the needs of oil and gas from the regional countries and the pressure from United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and other um, Arab allies of the U.S. in the region. It wasn't anything else like we want to say if the Israelis request or the politics play a part in Biden's decision, oil play a part, and uh, that, that was a strong uh, push and tools uh, for this administration to make the decision and uh, decided to have the revolutionary guards stay in the terrorist list. And what will Iran make of this? Will this be a deal breaker for the regime? Will they now refuse to sign the agreement? Uh, I, I, I don't know, but I, I, I believe since there was so much insisting that the revolutionary guard has to be lifted from the terrorist list, and this is one of the key demands at the talks, they would stick to their tools and they would not accept anything else rather than this uh, decision uh, to be revised from the White House. Uh, we have to say nothing is ever certain, if, even for Biden and this administration, they showed they can swing and they can change the decision based on different policies, the different um, decisions they want to take uh, about the region. And nothing is 100 percent and certain always. And for the Iranians, um, based on what I'm saying, what they were be examining the past few years, they want to kill the time. If they really wanted to make the deal, they had time during uh, former President Rouhani, who was more friendly with this administration, with the U.S. administration, uh, to revive the, the deal with the Americans, but they didn't. They prefer uh, to stretch the time. They prefer nothing to be happening. and America is still be on the table of the negotiations rather than to pull out and rather than to make the deal. Um, their program, the nuclear program, according to the White House, according to the experts, were so much advanced. And why they want to be have a deal to stop their nuclear program when they are so close to making a nuclear bomb, according again to the White House a spokesperson, she said uh, two months ago, actually she said two weeks Iran needed to have the nuclear bomb, but so two months passed and they still yeah, haven't had anything. But uh, we've had that before, haven't perhaps we? They are, exactly. But perhaps they are close. Perhaps they have enough materials. Perhaps they enter to a very dangerous level of making this nuclear warhead. Why they have to stop the program if their demand wouldn't be completed by, by the White House, by President Biden? And they prefer, in my opinion, to buy more time rather than to make the deal. Mm. I, I wanted to ask you uh, about Colonel Sayyad Qadai, uh, who was uh, assassinated uh, earlier this week. Uh, the regime held a funeral for him. Um, uh, yesterday. How much of a blow was that to the regime? Well, it was. It was uh, telling everyone and themselves that their securities and intelligences are very weak and there is a gap between what they were um, pretending they are on top of the intelligences, on top of the uh, securities and in the competition, especially with Israel. And at the same time, in, in the city uh, of uh, Tehran, in, in the middle of the city, they, the two people carrying such an assassination and they ran away. So definitely is a big blown up to their security and their weakness. But um, asking me if they were making a huge impact uh, at their decisions or about the way they were, um, they were taking and they were running their uh, systems, their mm -hmm. politics in the region uh, towards Iranian. No, nothing would be changed. Whole these systems are the member of the Revolutionary Guards, from the president, from head of the parliament, from the National Security Guards, all of them are coming from the same gang and the same clan and more or less one of them it wouldn't make a big changes for them